going to want to pick a Necro in this current meta if you're just like really feeling like you're just going to be able to dominate and take over the map. So eyes on him. I'm looking forward to see what build he does. Maybe some kind of like weird radiant stuff like that since he is versus Naga Siren trying to get some super scaling. I'm looking forward to see what it's going to be able to do. I do favor Knights' draft a bit here just because they can sit back and play more defensively and kind of force the mistakes out of Ares. But that being said, White Album just, he dominated so hard last game that hey, maybe he's going to be able to do something similar. Yeah, I mean, it's hard not to sort of go with that idea again. I th will say there's like a different dynamic that exists here now. Alacrity playing on this DK can deny out uh, and lower that base damage, can maybe even try and, you know, get some type of uh, pressure onto him through the first couple of waves. But what is it about the DK versus Necro matchup that becomes really hard to deal with? He's just constantly spamming. You don't even have to worry about bottle or anything like that on the Necro. You're with Heartstopper Aura, because it's all about, you know, health decay versus these tankier heroes, he's trying to attempt the pressure versus the DK. I haven't seen this lane. I haven't seen Necro at all since any of these changes. So is he even going to be able to pressure the DK is the question, because this hero has unbelievable regen now. If you want to hit three, it's like nobody can actually bully him. So let's see if the Necro is going to be able to. Well, the other thing that we're going to watch for is, uh, like Sheep was talking about, the Felix Chauba Rubik playing together at flyby up top. Now we did Strong see lane. we did see Shang Tsi play an amazing Dawnbreaker the mm -hmm. other day. So Ares, they're a team that's used to playing around Dawnbreaker, and they still are running this Ulu Ursa paired together with the Tusk. Actually, so yeah, mm -hmm. you were talking about the weakness of line and lane. Now they're switching it up. Yeah, the thing is though, now with Tusk, you have to time your snowball kind of perfectly every time to stop Dawnbreaker. Meanwhile, Lion. He had two different easy functions to be able to stop it. So just wanting to have the lion versus this uh, oh versus this Nagasarian already. Really good stun from Alacrity under the under the entire creep wave beating on White Album. Yeah, that was uh, a ton of damage there. So already off to a he better start. Oh, oh my Alacrity. god! Alacrity. Okay. Please, how dare you beat me down, game one? <laughs> I mean, White Album was definitely feeling himself last game, but then uh oh that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. Dude, how does Pre one minute. How does a DK solo kill anybody? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, they picked it for the lane, and if you get first blooded, now you're definitely not pressuring the DK. He can just buy whatever the hell he wants. He's going to be able to sustain. I think that actually is a really big deal. That might really change everything. As White Album oh my taking god. tower hits. Oh my god. Oh my god. If he didn't diagro tower, he might just die there as well. As it is, he's trying to pressure underneath the tower here, but the problem is he's still gotten so much XP out of this that Alacrity is coming close to hitting level three here. He's just gonna hit him back. He's Dude. like, you know what? Fine, fight yeah. me. Gets the second point, and there comes that big regen. What an Stun. interesting lane start. Is he gonna body block him with creeps? Oh my god, White Album. White Album, be careful here, buddy. He's okay. He can't really come back in the lane that easily again. And Wow, what an interesting matchup we've got. <laughs> I don't think if any, if anyone ever expected that, that would be the most ridiculous expectation ever. A DK solo killing Necro at the one minute mark, or the 50 second mark, that was crazy. And a, having a bottle this early on Alacrity, I, I don't think there's going to be any pressure that the Necro is going to be able to apply to him. He's going to be able to fill up that bottle constantly with the water runes. And Necro, not really a hero that wants to go for bottle, as we were saying before. Wow. <laughs> I mean, crazy. Yeah, unreal. Um, other lanes that we're going to need to watch on, though, you can see across all the lanes going much better for Knights than it did in the last game here. Uh, flyby having a better time of it, 8-4 right now versus the 6-0 and on the Ursa. And we're going to see the spam coming out of Alacrity. It, it looks like they should actually win all three lanes now off of that. We'll see how the Necro is able to like, punish this DK afterwards, but yeah, it does feel like all three lanes are going to be really successful for them off of the start. It's top. It's a tough lane already for the Ursa versus these two. Bottom, I don't believe that they can actually apply too much pressure onto Naga Siren. And yeah, the DK, Alacrity, with a huge outplay, setting himself up for success. You can see that he's starting to get a little bit lower on the DK now. Um, and is going to need to get a refill at some point uh, to make this really work for himself. Money but changes. at least at the moment, things looking somewhat okay. Gets the stun and not able to get the deny. <laughs> I'm loving him and just hitting him. Eight denies, though. That is a very big deal. He's going to have a pretty big level advantage over this Necro. Almost level five if he wants to put the third point in Dragon Blood. Probably an option for Alacrity, so he can sustain in that lane. Has the next bottle refill coming up in a few minutes here. Or a few seconds, rather. 
Uh, down bottom, we haven't talked about this one too much, Ego. Uh, with XCJ facing off against Shang Tsi and TK. Uh, obviously, Lion known for being a relatively weak hero in the laning stage, but can kill off these illusions one by one when he does the mana drain. Doesn't feel so great. Not till 15 minutes or so. Doesn't really feel that effective to actually slow down Naga Siren, but yeah, they're doing better than expected. 11 4 on the Naga, 19 2 on this Broodmother. You can see, fills up the water rune there can head on back in the lane, only misses out on one creep, really. Okay. And he doesn't actually put that third point in. He wants to have a little bit more damage. Doesn't yeah. want to go off. Doesn't want to be that passive. Ooh, just that. stepping up and hitting him, because he's got this level advantage. He's really just trying to bully White Album. As much as possible and doing a really good job of it. The physical damage is insanely high right now on this DK because of the start. Yeah, and even had a Bracer brought out to himself. Has another one queued up. White Album has to be very cautious how he steps up. Another stun and a breathe fire. He's got Raindrop, so should be okay, but... Alacrity pushing the limits here. Absolutely. Yeah, trying to burn through those Raindrops there and get whatever damage he can out. And, you know, who would have thunk that the... Necro DK lane was going to be the lane to watch. But. I'm just staring. I'm literally not looking anywhere else. Yeah. It's just this constant battle between the two of them. And who'd also would think that it, I mean, the DK getting this kill is not bottom. Uh oh. Did a damage out there. TK in trouble. And Ego going to find that finish on to the Lion. Puts two points in the mana drain. Okay. Means they're going to have like no damage to try to pressure this Naga Siren whatsoever. Sure, he's going to be able to kill Illusion a little bit more frequently, but. This should just be a free farm lane now for Ego. And the CM should be able to start getting some pulls off. About to get level 6 on Alacrity here. But he is low. Has to be careful of the level 6 of White Album. Pops the stun. There is a TP rotation coming in here. Okay. As TK wants to help secure the 6 minute rune. And could maybe even go for the kill when White Album gets 6. We'll have to see. Probably yeah. just helping around the 6 minute rune. It looks like they're checking with both supports here. Okay. White Album, how close is he to six? He's a little bit more than a creep wave away, it looks like. 13 denies on the DK. Yeah. Haste rune, it spawns top. Maybe they can set up Red Panda. He's kind of baiting him in. Yeah. Can't quite. Lackety realizes the danger, and the scan is there, so won't be able to turn this into anything. Puts a ward down just to protect himself, too. Yeah. Nice little play there from the supports, just helping out their Necro. And at the same time, you can see that this sets up for a little bit of aggro up top, but now they've gone in too far, and Felix, he's going to be in a little bit of trouble there. Tries to snowball in on this one, brings him in. The hammer throw is out, and the turn now under Red Panda. Holy. Good damage. Look at that turn for the kill. Why bye makes it happen. Ulu tries to turn now onto Felix Chauba, drops down the tree. That was... Not the right direction, but with another Celestial Hammer, it's not going to be enough, and they bring them both down. That's a big deal. They were getting crushed up here. This Dawnbreaker absolutely free farming. Still way ahead of the net worth, but a big play from Ulu able to stick on him. Nicely done from Ulu. Yeah, getting that kill. I mean, I feel like after the laning stage, any type of redemption like that's going to be huge for him. As TK throws out the stun, Felix makes the move in. They get the slow. Can't quite find the telekinesis though. They have this very early level six on the DK, level seven even, so trying to get the tower, but mid, do they They're have enough low. damage? They find him, Reaper Scythe, and they it's do. gonna be enough. So White Album finally getting some retribution after that laning stage onto Alacrity. Great, Ruth. the two supports really salvaging everything here on the side of Ares. So how much does this change things for the state of the game right now? Is Ego's getting gone on a little bit by Shang Tsi. Do you feel like uh, Knights have gotten enough out of this laning stage to build a buffer against this aggro that's coming their way? Feels like it. That being said, though, Ares, they still have a very good lineup, as uh, as Kezu was saying. The Ursa still has ways and functions to be able to deal with this Naga Siren. And, I mean, the Necropos, he always is going to have that big target, or two targets, that he can just focus on with Reaper Scythe, be it the Dawnbreaker or that DK. So, so far, so good. Action. And they do control another power rune. That's going to be really important. They Bottom. pop it in, the net, and then into the Dawnbreaker rotation. That was cleanly done by Knights. Uh, that was just perfect. Yep. This Dawnbreaker might be the big difference maker for them to have that really strong tri-scaling tri tri core. Yeah. Getting uh, the DK out of the laning stage against the White Album. But look at this. He is going to start farming it up now. Big stacks. DK form not being popped to hit the tower just yet, but I think Alacrity, he's now going to use it and hit tower when he sees that the Necro is not here. 
Get some good damage in there. TK holding on for the moment to that creep wave. He's got to just kind of watch this DK hit the tower, though. Support's coming in, XCJ. Get the poison hit onto it. Try and regen the tower. White Album finishes off that big stack, already level 8 now. And a full hood, so very survivable. Yeah, he's going to be pretty comfortable. And Alacrity, after getting some damage onto the tower, now seeing White Album in school. Uh, back away. Oh, wait, what? What killed the courier? Oh. Did Ugo's, did it just killed by a neutral creep? It might have been. I think a neutral creep just killed this courier. <laughs> okay, well, that'll slow down the Naga's farm a little bit. And we've seen this kind of uh, match up a little bit before. I know yesterday, towards the end of the night, we had this Broodmother versus Naga. We'll see how much uh, this Brood is going to be able to slow down and maybe even block camps and stuff like that with the spiders that we did see being done a lot yesterday from, uh, I think it was uh, Jibbe, right? Yeah. Yeah, Jibbe was blocking camps like crazy. So we'll see how much he's even able to do because right now they switch the dynamic. They park the Dawn bottom so they prevent this Broodmother from being able to push tower and. Oh my god, he gets all the spiders. Yeah, that was big. Flyby takes that one out easy peasy. There is a triple stack over on the Dire Ancients too, which is something to watch for if uh, they're going to try and take that one with White Album. TK actually stacking it up another round. Will he get the stack? Oh, it just misses it. That's too hard to get that. I need to cut some trees. Mm -hmm. And it feels like maybe that could be saved for Ulu later on, who's going for this Battle Fury build. Uh, but he's still a long ways away from it on that Ursa. Yeah, he's been slowed down. Even though he got that beautiful double kill top that salvaged him, the lane was very difficult as we kind of anticipated that double melee versus Dawn plus Rubik. Well, 1,000 gold separating the two teams. A lot of that just on the back of the Necrophos. And I want to see what he goes for. Does he try and go for a more sort of aggressive build? Uh, already had finished off the hood. Now, Red Panda's getting beat down in the mid lane while there's this smoke rotation bottom. Light okay. Album fly by. They're all in the area. They find him. XCJ runs into TK. Felix makes the move over, trying to bring Flyby down, but able to regen through it. TK. See a multi. The hex is out. It's going to be enough. They bring down Flyby and bring numbers for it. Nice play there from White Album, too, holding on to it, waiting for it until he sees the Rubik steal a spell. So Felix, he steals the mana drain, but yeah, immediately White Album knows he can go for this repo and reap without getting stolen. And now they're able to get this tower. So a little bit of a tower trade, giving up their mid, but getting that bottom plus a big kill. Open up the map for the Brood. Any of those kills on Dawnbreaker oh. are really nice to get. Actually bringing Alacrity down here to try to find something. It's scouted by a creep, so a bit of failed yeah. rotation here from Knights. Maybe he's just going to hold on to this area. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But getting to the Blink Dagger for him is going to be uh, pretty important, it feels like, for the DK. Yeah, because then they can just full commit onto the Necrophos, and it's going to be really up to like Red Panda's positioning to be able to get that save off with the Snowball, which we see him maxing on that 5 Tusk. And getting closer to the BKB for Dawnbreaker has been the choice for Flyby. So wanting to be able to be in the thick of things and not have to worry about too much. Um, Ulu getting farmed, has the Perseverance done on the way to Battle Fury. Probably going to wait and see this next DK form be used up top. Alacrity has the Arcane Rune too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we'd imagine seeing the dynamic of the Dawnbreaker. He deals with the Brood, stays bottom lane, while the rest of the heroes on the side of Knights look to invade top, take tower, make space for that Naga Siren. For Ares, this, I feel like, could be the next few moments where they actually struggle to be able to stop the pressure that comes out from Knights. I think they just need the Reaper Scythe every single time in order to try to stop this DK or this Dawn. Yeah. As the stack's starting to get worked on. Yeah, White Album wants to take these ones down himself, it looks like. Yeah. They don't want to wait that long for the Ursa to take him out. Has the full Sanj completed now? Very tanky. Yeah, so that one coming out will be pretty clutch. I want to see what... More regen and... Oh, top. Yeah, that's a, that's a freebie. Even dropping the CM ulti to secure that Red Panda goes down. And you know what? They don't have to use DK form to take down this tower. This is really nice. So they'll have Blink and DK form now. The Alacrity pops it to try and defend the mid tower. He has an Arcane Rune, so yeah. he's just like, sure. You know, it's almost the same duration as it is, it is cooldown when you have Arcane. So we'll be able to pop that one right afterwards. And yeah, Blink is done. White Album. Okay, looks like it's the Kaya Sanj build. I was waiting to see what he, what else he kind of uh, opts to go for here. I'm still hoping he does do some like, crazy kind of radiant Dyer's stuff potentially. Top. Yeah. I have seen it fail so many times at the same time too, so. We just don't get to see too much Necrophos anymore as panel 
alluded to. Probably the first one. I believe the first one in all the DPC. Look at this. Preempting the move. Fly by. Gets the hammer away. Tries to escape. Is going to turn, and the rest of the team in position. Red Panda, he's going to drop. They have the snowball now onto the spider. So shang in trouble. They have another stun in one second. Find it right there. And the anticipated gank on flyby is going to fail. I feel like they need White Album if you're going to go for these type of plays. I think their damage is very limited in this early game on the side of Ares, unless they have the Necro with that Reaper. We do see it get immediately punished. And tough for them to make plays elsewhere, because if they want to set up a gank elsewhere, the Dawn ult comes in and then they just can't counteract it. So Ego, he's getting all the space in the world, has now taken that top net worth spot on the Naga. And depending upon how this next couple of minutes goes, it feels like they might not be able to knock him out of that top spot. Yeah, it's like going to be problematic. They will have the Lion though, right? So oh, yeah. eyes on TK, what's he going to be able to do with the Shard? Cutting these, you know, the cutting waves of the Naga Siren will be dealt with with him just mana draining them, but will that be enough to actually slow them down and give them type of scaling function with this Necro or Sakor? Right, and it, it also comes at the limitation of his damage, his mm -hmm. control. He has three points right now in mana drain. Uh, you'd imagine he takes another one pretty soon here. But everybody moves on up top. They Fast kill moves. off the illusions. Guess who's there? Dawnbreaker, the stun comes in. They find oh, and kill oh, White Album. Oh, oh. Just ripped him to shreds. Oh my, the damage that comes in from the Dawn as well. It's just everything at the perfect timing and beautiful steals. Felix, Snowball, I feel like he's gotten them three kills so far and then he steals the Earth Spike as well right afterwards for the yeah. chain stun. Beautifully done by this Rubik. Really good stuff from him. Looks like a totally different team at this point now for Knights compared to that last game. Really finding themselves a better draft that they're more comfortable with to deal with this pressure. It's one of those things where you sort of look at it and you're like, okay, well, if you get to get out of the laning stage and actually play some Dota, mm -hmm. things look significantly better for Knights. Um, and for Ares, things after that solo kill just sort of felt off. Yeah. Necro never wanting to be playing at a deficit. He always wants to be playing ahead. That's why we... Yeah, don't really see the hero too much. It's just very volatile. As he's gone for the shard now first before fin finishing up that Kaya. But even with this tankiness, you know, Sanj, Hood, and still gets exploded through the burst damage that we see from Knights. Well, and there is always going to be that blow-up potential. You know, pairing White Album uh, together with the Ursa, and you're, you know, sort of playing this Naga Siren, which, yes, there are two other cores, but at the end of the day, it's all about the Naga in the late game. Mm -hmm. So they do have kill potential constantly. Um, as the Battle Fury completed, and they're actually just going to be running bottom at flyby here. Just have to start to bully him out of here because the Broodmother's not able to play her game. They get the catch. Snowball tries to tower. escape. The team moving into position. Finger of death done. And Felix gets the lift, but, well, actually, now they Ulu. find him. Oh, his enraged war out. Ulu goes down right as he got the Battle Fury and song? trying to escape the song. The Song of the Siren, Jason, can they get out of there in time? It looks like they will. It's so small, level one. Yeah. Only that 1,000 radius, so let's get wasted there. About three minutes on cooldown, but another big hit. They're reading the moves. Sure, they get the Dawn, but they lose their Ursa, who finally had had that Battle Fury. So I think Knight's very happy with that trade. They uh, spot up on the high ground now, too, and going to get the D-Wards there. So Knight's the lead with the Naga Siren draft. And the question coming out now is, what do they want to do to try and continue to build this lead? Uh, is there going to be a Roche in their near future? Do they want to try and take that away from the Ursa draft? Probably not too necessary just yet. I think it's back to back to stage of the game. Dawn goes back bottom. The three, the two supports plus the DK continue to move around, and Ego just free farms jungle. So I think it's a lot of pressure on Ares to try to find some type of avenue to pressure the map. Because yeah, right now, 10 to five, it feels like Knights are gonna start to really run away with the game soon. Absolutely. Red Panda runs into Flyby, but can't do anything. Flyby is just about to complete the BKB, has rushed this instead of going for that shard that we sometimes see as the little like gap measure. It's probably gonna let him just survive any of these hard commit ganks that happen. Like if he has BKB down bottom, he will just be able to turn, and likely they kill more heroes, and he just survives. But yeah, let's see what Ares looks to do to try to start getting some pressure. It's, it's scary. They, they probably feel like they can only gank this Dawn lane, but then yeah. Knights is just always prepared. It's right. an excellent game plan right now from Knights that's working out. 
and you're losing so much on the rest of the map. Mm -hmm. They uh, do have TK there again, cutting these waves constantly with the Mana Drain. Um, would probably want to get that next level in Mana Drain next to just ensure that he can kill him off quickly. And have it back up again afterwards. Nice. They're looking to keep getting aggressive. DK has the form up again, pops it immediately, no hesitation. And they want to look to keep pressuring themselves. Flyby just sits bottom, waits for an opportunity to Solar Guardian in while Ego free farms. This definitely looks like a recipe su uh, like for a success for a Naga Siren draft. Yeah, completely happy right now on Ego just to keep the farming going. And Ulu showing on a, a ward. They have this ward back behind. He thinks he's safe, but he is very much not. The jump forward, the stun. And we've seen this one before. He's they gone. find him out there for the kill. And Felix steals the stun again. So now they have even further chain stun to get this Ursa. Now that's the Roche probably. Knights gonna be able to accelerate the game so much more off of that type of pickoff. Really, really clean play coming out here from Knights in this game number two. Yeah, looking, I mean, it's only a 2K lead, but it's just feeling rough for Ares to make anything happen on the map. Cause it's just, yeah, there's nowhere for them to go. They wanna try to squeeze the map try to use this Broodmother space, but it's not existent because Dawnbreaker just sits down there and then yeah. he joins the fights every single time. So, yeah, Knights feels like if they just keep this up, this Naga Siren will just completely take over. You see, yeah, 71 to 29 win probability already. Need to find some type of way to break through and, you know, kill Flyby and then turn that into an objective. Mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, granted, they, they've got this Necrophos very farmed with the Kaya Sanj, has the Hood of Defiance, but in a way, it's it's not the, the death of the, the Necro that they have to be worried about, but the ability to, like, actually find a target and stick on him. Mm -hmm. And f finally be able to pressure and shrink the map. They just they right. can't do anything because their map control is just non-existent. There's two supports, still no Blink Daggers, so no real way to jump and start a fight quickly and blow up a target before they get anything off. It feels like Knights, they're always going to be able to have time to react to any move that Ares does set up. Yeah. Bye-bye playing around this area. It's sort of going twinkle toes with uh, Red Panda in the bottom jungle as Alacrity holds on to this mid lane, has a DD ready to go. They popped the dragon form again, and they're looking for the Ursa. They saw Ulu down bottom for a second. They're predicting his next movement. <laughs> this poor Ursa. He's just getting bullied here. Are they going to be able to break the smoke, though? Not quite. Oh, and he's going to walk right up that hill afterwards. Oh, they're so perfectly prepared for him. They're reading the map perfectly here as Ulu. Ooh. Heads on by. Hello, He's like, oh, no. <laughs> How are you? Goodbye. Oh, they don't even need the Dawn Jeez. ult this time. Oh, man. But maybe a punish here? I can't get him. There's no way to run him down. The Naga is fine. Oh, Red Panda. Just a bit of an awkward situation. Shh. Just be quiet over there, buddy. Don't come out. They so, can't hurt you. He's so patient. Uh -oh. oh, my God. They definitely can. Oh, God. They see him in a second. But he makes the first move. Okay, XCJ doesn't have ulti, but He's the alive. turn, oh, they're there. And Knights, they punish yet again. This game is just all in their hands. And Ego even kills up top two. White Album can't even bully away the Naga. Oh my god, this game's getting out of control already. It really is. 15 yeah. to five. No answers, it feels like, for this Naga Siren whatsoever. They tried to go for this Necro pick, but it's absolutely not worked out for them. After what I'm sure was a very frustrating game, Knights now on the front foot and setting the tempo for the way they want this one to go. All three cores farming really well. Ursa just, yeah, sure, he got his Battle Fury done. Sure, he's on his way toward BKB, but they have so many answers for him. So much chain stun and control. Waiting to see when they're going to be able to get another kill. They've only gotten those two Reaper sites that were successful. White Album, he's got Kaya Sanj Hood, and he's actually having to build an Aeon Disc next. Dude. That's how that's how scared he is to this burst that they the burst in control that Knights has. I mean, I get it, but it also feels like it's it's one of those moments of like, you know, you're staying alive for what, you mm -hmm. know, to what end? Dyer's and I mean, like top. maybe they need this blink dagger on Lion to come quicker. M maybe they need a blink dagger on the Tusk. It just feels like they have no agency in this game whatsoever on Ares. Yeah. Even when they do look to find a target, they might just get full turned on because of either the Dawn ult or the BKBs that are coming out so early. Both cores now having it. Ego taking top tower. 
getting massive. They already feel like they don't have the answer to the Naga Siren. He looks like he's going to be getting a heart within the next few minutes as well, too. The next time he shows, they're going to be like, oh, man, that's a 2,500 HP Naga Siren. Well, and to be fair, you do still have this mana drain, which you True. know will take out three of the illusions instantly, as we're going to see here in a second on TK. Um, but they, they kind of need to be able to turn that into, okay, then we kill the Naga, mm -hmm. which we haven't seen from them. You go five, zero, and two on this pesky hero. Yeah, flawless game plan so far. Knights, and they just, they're sticking to the recipe. Look at the map again. They're just having the DK farm ancients and triangle flyby. He's just sitting bottom. Brood has done less than, like 240 damage to the tier two. And yeah, there's the heart already finished up. This will come in handy. So yeah, it feels like the window for the game for Ares is shrinking smaller and smaller as this game goes on. They do have Blink Lion, but are they going to be able to find anything big with it? They need to. They need to, yeah. The pipe is completed now. So more ways to keep things alive. You can see TK. I mean, again, the plus side of this, like, you know, lion pick is that he's going to get more and more farmed as these illusions levels up. Mm -hmm. And that does look like they're making a smoke play right now. He's got the Aeon disc locked. They've now spotted it. Can they take this fight? Oh, Rubik's got webs. They need to get... Oh, what? Yep. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Oh, my God. Yeah. Felix, he gets jumped, though. Able to dodge Thanks the to stun. BKB. And the big jump. Ulu, this is the initiation that they wanted. Alacrity has control of the lion. And Ego going to pop the Song of the Siren. They're all caught now. Uh-oh, Ulu. No BKB. In trouble. Under control. The lift is there. The enrage. The dawn. Ulti comes in. They connect now with that Celestial Hammer. Ulu in trouble, going to die. They bring down Felix Chauba pretty low, but not enough to get the kill. The, the webs. spider webs <laughs> to get him away. Web on web. Shanksy can't believe it. They bring down White Album. In the end, it was a buyback from Red Panda and four knots. And they're, money. they're gonna even lose more. The Brood's likely to die here too. Level 18 on Alacrity, they're slow. Oh my goodness, this and the enough. hammer, it goes out, they connect, the root is there, the spam, Felix, dropping those voice lines, and GG they call it. Yeah. didn't stand a chance. Well, they tried something with the necro pick, but I think that is the first and last necro that we're going to see of the DPC is. He died at 50 seconds in the game to a solo <laughs> DK. I mean, that's that's that says a lot, of course, but overall, I think Knights, they set up a really nice game plan. You could see...